probably noticed that um, this service is lasting a little longer than normal, so I brought my lunch. <laughs> I'll uh, maybe share it with some of you later, but for the moment, I'm just going to leave it right there. And uh, you heard the reading from Matthew 28 regarding the resurrection. If we had the opportunity to read the account from various Gospels, we'd get even more information. But let me just remind you what happened. Around sunrise, the sun just started to come up. I can't imagine how it was for those women during the night. But we know that um, they got some spices together and so on, and they were going to go anoint the body of Jesus. So they took off to the tomb. And on the way, they're talking to each other, wondering, now how in the world are we going to get that heavy stone, that huge stone, off of the mouth of the tomb in order to get to the body of Jesus? Well, they arrived at the tomb, and something incredible happened. There was a huge earthquake. I don't know how many of you have been in a big earthquake. Mary and I were in the North Side earthquake, North Ridge earthquake in L.A. a few years ago. And we were lying in bed, it was about 5 in the morning, and all of a sudden everything just started to shake. You know, just unbelievable. And uh, we're told that the best thing to do is to head for a doorway and stand under a doorway because that's the strongest part of the structure of the house. So we tried to do that. She was closest to the doorway and I was trying to get, you know, with her and we couldn't make it to the doorway. We're, everything was just moving and it was unbelievable. Frightening. In addition to that, all the security horns on the cars were going off and the dogs and all, all the dogs in the neighborhood were barking and it was, it was a frightening experience. Imagine, I mean, all you're going to do is just go to this cemetery and there's this massive earthquake, which is very frightening. And then if that isn't enough, all of a sudden, angel appears. I've been through earthquakes, but I've never seen an angel. And I can't imagine it, that coupled with the earthquake and this dazzling person. And of course, the brave Roman soldiers, they were incapacitated. They'd fallen down as if they were dead. They were completely in shock. And here you are, woman, wondering about all this. And the angel says, don't be afraid. Oh yeah, sure. Don't be afraid. Come on. I am afraid. Don't be afraid. I know why you're here, he said. You've come looking for Jesus. And then he went on to say, he's not here. He's risen exactly like he said. Come on. Now, of course, the angel had rolled away the stone and was sitting on the stone. And so the sepulcher was open. So he said to the women, come on, come on, take a look. Look. And then he said, oh, by the way, go tell the disciples and uh, Jesus will go ahead of you and meet you in Galilee. And guess what? And there you'll see him. What an incredible experience. I can't even imagine what that would have been like. Oh, my lunch. I have here a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> 